Good evening to you and thanks for joining us. Halloween has been more tricks than treats for one Lexington charity. We told you last week about caring costumes and its mission. They donate costumes to kids in need, but this week they also became victims of a burglary. Shelby Lofton shows us how they're trying to rebound first on Fox. And who would take costume? Caring costumes wrapped up another successful costume fair days before Halloween. We load them up in our car, we take them to the costume fair, we hang them up, the children come through and pick out their costume, and then we have a lot of leftover costumes that we just store and put away till next year. Co-founder Kathy Phillips says a caravan of cars full of costumes went back to her house. It's where she and Robin Anderson, also a co-founder, store everything. And a lot of costumes made it to the basement um, with the racks, but several boxes we just left in the garage. Phillips says she realized something was wrong while working on a costume request. I was looking for a specific size. I couldn't find it and I was like, where are the new costumes? She says she walked out to her garage, the spot where boxes upon boxes full of new costumes sat was empty. Philip says someone broke in. Shocked and very sad. She says those accessories and outfits could have gone to homes who needed them. I hope someone's wearing those costumes tonight, to be quite honest. The moms behind carrying costumes say they're not letting the burglars steal their Halloween spirit. People are going out back out there and talking to their friends and collecting more costumes. So we're trying to restock, get our, get our costume boxes full again. They're taking a sour trick and turning it around to be a sweet treat for someone else. In Lexington, Shelby Lofton, Fox 56, 10 o'clock news. Phillips encourages everyone to consider donating their costumes after they were worn tonight. Carrying Costumes is also requesting donations from stores with leftover inventory.